Kratom oomitragyna speciosa is a tropical tree native to Southeast Asia whose leaves contain the alkaloids mitragynine and 7-hydroxymidragynine. These compounds act primarily on mu opioid receptors in the brain, but in a way that's different from classic opioids. They are partial agonists, meaning they activate these receptors to a lesser degree. At low doses, kratom can leave stimulating effects increasing the alertness and energy similar to strong coffee, but at higher doses, its effects shift toward sedation and pain relief, resembling opioid-like activity. In the United States, kratom products often sold as teas, capsules, or powders, and are used for a range of self-reported reasons, like managing chronic pain, boosting mood or energy, or easing withdrawal symptoms from opioids. However, in the United States and Drug Administration has not approved kratom for any medical use, and its safety profile raises concerns. Common side effects include nausea, constipation, dry mouth, sweating, dizziness, and drowsiness. More serious risks, although less common, include seizures and hallucinations, liver injury, and in rare cases, death, especially when Kratom is combined with other substances such as alcohol, benzodiazepine, or prescription opioids. Kratom can cause physical dependence with regular use, and stopping abruptly may lead to withdrawal symptoms such as muscle ache, irritability, insomnia, mood swings, and runny nose, similar in one respect to opioid withdrawal but often milder. Because Kratom products are largely unregulated, potency and purity vary widely, and contamination with heavy metals or adulterants has been documented. Legally, kratom status in the U.S. is inconsistent. Some states and municipalities ban its sale and processes outright, while others impose age restrictions or require labeling under Kratom Consumer Protection Act. The FDA has issued important alerts against certain kratom supplements, and maintains its position that kratom carries serious safety risks. Bottom line, while kratom is marketed as a natural option for pain and mood, natural doesn't mean safe. Its pharmacological effects, potential for dependence, unregulated market, and possible severe health risks mean anyone considering its use should first speak to a healthcare professional and avoid mixing it with other drugs or alcohol. I'm Stan, your pharmacist on social. Follow me for more pharmacy tips, one scroll at a time.